Monday. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, snail hopscotch. So first I'm going to demo how to draw it and then I'll show you guys how to play it. So you first begin with a circle. Okay, and I'm going to write home because this is your home. When you get here, um, you can rest. Okay, and I realize I wrote it so it'll be booked for you, but that's okay. So then you start anywhere and then you're going to start drawing it out. And the longer you make it, the bigger you make it, um, the harder it's going to be. So if you really want to challenge yourself, you can make it super big. But mine's probably not going to be that big. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And try and make the boxes about the same size if you can. Uh, ten. And then eleven. <laughs> so I'm gonna have eleven squares. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one. Okay, I'm gonna put my chalk. In. So I'm gonna start with one and I'm gonna hop on one foot and try your best not to step on any of the cracks. Uh, normally when you step on a crack, you start over, but it's really up to you and how strict you want to play the game. So I'm going to start with one and hop on one foot and count. And then when I get to the home in the middle, I can rest. And then I'm going to go back around. So let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, and I messed up already. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Home. Okay, I can rest here and then I'm gonna go back. 11, 10, ah, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 9, really bad. 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, if you did it perfectly both times there and back, then you can pick a square to write your initials in. So I'm gonna pick and I'll write my initials. Okay, and then the next person would go. You usually play this with at least two people. You can play with more. And then what that means, the box that has your initials is your box. And so next time I hop, I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Since my initials are in it, this is my box. I can rest here for as long as I want. Um, and if you're playing with another person, they need to hop over your box. Okay? And when the next person would go, um, and they did it perfectly, they get to pick a box, and then you would have to hop over their box. And you basically just keep playing until every single box is filled up. And yeah, that's how you play snail hopscotch. I'm still out of breath. Um, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.